Hi, I am Elaine Bayless, the voice of reason for overwhelmed moms and women going through transitions. This week's blog is all about the holidays because I'm on a mission this month to create, help you create the most simple and joyous holiday season of your life. So we're going to start with just one thing. And I want to talk for a minute about your kids. Um, or if you don't have any kids, the kids you know. You've probably encountered some kids. Kids are awesome at celebrating. They're fantastic at it. The kid will celebrate anything at the drop of a hat. I have a three-year-old. I know this to be true. <laughs> I mean, you know, they'll just, they just go for it. Nothing ever stops them. You know, when they're one and two years old at Christmas, they play with the wrapping paper. It's not because they don't know any better, it's because the wrapping paper is the most awesome toy in that moment. Kids are constantly in the moment and that is part of what makes their celebration so easy and so fun and so full. We lose that as adults. We lose that ability to just, at the drop of a hat, enjoy things. We hold on to things, we hold grudges, we worry. We remember, we regret, and that makes it very difficult to stay in the moment and enjoy a holiday celebration. Now, in the long term, I think it's very important for us to develop the ability to stay present in the moment, to avoid worrying about the future, and to avoid beating yourself up about the past. But that's a long-term thing. That's going to be a, um, a practice that you develop, the practice of being present in the moment. And that's something that I love to work on with my clients, that I work on with myself. But for the holiday season, I'm going to give you a trick. And this trick is what you can use so that you can be in the moment for each holiday as it comes and goes. So this is a shortcut to the long-term road of, of meditation and introspection, this is a shortcut you can use to help make your holidays more enjoyable. And here it is, the big secret. Set one value per holiday. Just one. One priority. And I'm going to use kids again. How much do you want to bet that your kids one value for Halloween is candy? <laughs> They love candy. I mean, yeah, the dressing up is fun. Yeah, the trick-or-treating is fun. Being up late is fun. But at the end of the night, what matters the most to most kids is how much candy is in their basket. That's it. The only thing that can ruin Halloween for them is to not get candy. That's it. And so that's what I'm inviting you to consider doing for each holiday that's coming up. Set one value for that holiday. And then as you're preparing for the holiday, as you're actually celebrating the holiday, whatever happens, think, how does this impact my one priority? And if it doesn't harm your priority, let it go. There'll be time to deal with it later. Um, I'm not advocating being irresponsible. Obviously things happen that you have to take care of, but if your family, if your, if your holiday is family oriented and something bad happens um, you know if you can keep the family together if you can stay together in the midst of whatever bad thing is going on it may not be the happiest holiday of your life but you've managed to achieve that family connection so that's my trick for this week on how to keep your holidays simple and joy filled just pick one value for each holiday you've got coming up if you can fulfill that one thing, you can consider your holiday a success. And that's for me to you, the voice of reason for overwhelmed moms and women going through life transitions. Also, I just want to encourage you, if you're interested in learning more or in sitting down and working with me on creating that one holiday, I am having a one-day holiday workshop, Create Holiday Calm, on October 25th. It is going to be so much fun. We're going to get so much done and you're going to have a plan of action to keep your holidays joyful and simple. 
Thanks, this is Elaine Bayless.